Good morning and welcome back to my kitchen. Um, I got another goodie up my sleeve for today. Remember me telling y'all about Aunt Audrey, my daddy's sister that was just the best cook in the world? Her fig cake, I made it for y'all. Well, this is a chocolate pie that Annie would make. And she would make it in a raw crust, like a pecan pie, but it's more like a cross between chocolate fudge and a brownie. It is absolutely delicious. And again, I was down there one day and I had her to measure because she just poured it and it would always turn out perfect. So she measured it out for me and it makes a bunch of filling. So I'm going to use a deep dish crust today because if I use a little one, I generally have enough for two pies, but we'll see how this one comes out. Because usually I don't mind having two pies because it's for a special occasion. But I'm going to tell y'all what's in it and then I'm going to make it. I'll bring you over to the mixer to watch me. Um, it's three tablespoons of cocoa powder, one and a half cups of sugar, three eggs, two cups of canned milk, and I used a can, a 12 ounce can and filled it on up with cream or whole milk, whichever you'd rather. One stick of softened butter, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of vanilla, pecans if desired, and three tablespoons flour for thickening. So what you do is you cream your butter and sugar and then you add in the other ingredients as you decide you want to do it. I usually put the flour in next. But then, and then you just pour it in the pan and bake it at 325 for about 45 to 50 minutes. And you want to be sure it's done, but that's kind of her guidelines. So I'm going to move the camera over to the mixer where y'all can watch me mixing it. And then we'll have us a good chocolate pie after a while. Okay, I've already put my butter, one stick of softened butter in there. And I went ahead and put my fourth of a teaspoon of salt in with my sugar. And I'm going to mix that a little bit. Well, it would help if I plugged it in, wouldn't it? Alright, it's kind of mixed. I'm going to add my three eggs. Cream that really good. Make sure it's not all stuck in the bottom. Okay, now I'm going to add my flour. Get it combined really good with that. Ooh, making a mess here. You need that little bit of thickener to make you pie set up. Amy also had a recipe for a persimmon cake. And you know a lot of times you have persimmons and stuff that you don't know what to do with. I'm going to add my cocoa in. Um, I've got some persimmons in the freezer and I'm going to make that persimmon cake for y'all one day too. It's real moist. Start adding my cream. Now, when Aunt Audrey made this pie, she put two cups of sugar. But she's the one that put three cups to a gallon of tea. So I cut it back to one and a half. So if you make it and you think you want your sweeter, you just do it your way. Okay, and we need vanilla. I'm going to put a teaspoon, and I just love my measuring spoons. My friend Becky Anguiana gave me those many years ago. See the rooster on them? And I think about her every time I use them. I went to spend a day or two with her recently, and we went to Fredericksburg and had a fun time. 
she's a good girl okay I am going to add pecans now you can add them or not add them but I wanted pecans in mine today and I toasted those by the way that's about a cup of pecans okay let me make sure everything's in there I've got my cocoa my sugar my eggs my cream butter salt vanilla and pecans and flour that's it okay now I'll take y'all back over there and we'll get it in the pan okay I'm gonna get the uh, the filling in and it's very runny but that flour thickens it up just really good yeah it's gonna make a good deep dish pie that's great one fat pie man I tasted of it I did it got me a little taste and it's so good You ever had something that just kind of takes you back in time to, I can remember, I can remember how I looked forward to this getting out of the oven and cooling, and sometimes we'd have ice cream on it. But anyway, I'm going to get this in the oven, and I'll be back in a jiffy to let y'all see how pretty it looks when it's finished. Oh, this beautiful chocolate pie is out of the oven. Oh my goodness, I had to cook it a little longer because of the, the deep dish, but um, I'm letting it cool some and then I'm going to slice a piece of it and let y'all look at how yummy it is. I'll be back in a jiffy. Okay y'all, the pie's out of the oven and it sure is pretty, let me show you. I know there was a picture at the beginning of the video, but see it's creamy. Oh my goodness, it's delicious. Let me show y'all how good it is. Still a little warm, but... Mm, mm, mm. It's like I'm back at Aunt Audrey's house again. Y'all need to try this. It's quick and easy. Now, I did... I told you I cooked it probably 20 minutes longer, and I would jiggle the pan, and I waited until the middle didn't hardly move at all because it was having some uh because it was so deep it cooked a little bit longer but anyway i hope y'all try this and hope you come back tomorrow to see what we're cooking there's gonna be another good one some of them may be a hundred years old being tried and proven forever so y'all come back we'll make something yummy and don't forget to put something good on your table and the good lord bless you till we see you tomorrow